Okay, so now it's going to be a tutorial on how to get the map um, in there. Because we're using the um, location module with, with Google Maps, we can now put a map in here. So not the default node location, but we can actually use the view for it. Um, which is good, because those the sites have a map it's the, um, you know, to check the location of the property or whatever. So let's see how we can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Views, and we're going to go Add New View. And just gonna give it a view name. I'm just gonna call it pro, you know, property map. And I don't want to create a page, and I don't want to create a block, so that's fine. So I want to create a show content of type uh, property. Yep. And the reason why I'm not doing that is because I could create a page or a block, but there's no point. Um, just because I want to show you how you can actually um, include the views programmatically into the um, into the template. You could make a block and use it to position it or whatever. Um, it's up to you. Anyway, continue and edit. Property map. Alright, so straight away I'm going to go to the format. I'm going to click on format. I'm going to select GMAP and hit apply. It's going to take up the settings here. And we need a macro here. If you need the macro or like if you don't know what these macros are, um, there is an actual macro maker module or there's there's documentation right there. Or you can grab the snippet here that I'm using, um, which is just controls the zoom and the height and the width um, of the Google Map. So basically, with getting the data source, uh, we can change all of all of that, but we don't really need to. Um, marker fallback for use. I'm just going to say green, you know, and I want to take center on node argument. I'll come back to that in a second. So we're rolling on down an animation. Maybe we want it to drop in. And I'm going to hit apply. Now we're going to come back to that in a second. So basically, <coughs> now we have a, a new view uh, with th that is going to be a map, um, but we the map doesn't know which or this view doesn't know which map to center on. So how we're going to do that? Or the argument we're going to do that is through contextual filters. In Drupal six, it used to be called um, ar arguments, but right now it's called contextual filters. So if you read some of the document documentation on drupal.org and you're going what um, that's why you're looking anyway I'm gonna hit add <coughs> and I'm gonna find content node ID or you know node node ID well, I've searched it before sweet so I'm gonna go down here there we go I'm gonna apply I'm gonna set instead of display all results because I don't want that I want to provide a default value and I want it to be the content ID from the URL. So this would actually work if you did it this way to include it as a, as a block um, and then only show on those particular content types but you know I'm not going to do it that way because that's too easy. <laughs> Apply. Alright, so now we have a um, contextual filter so we have to actually pass that to the, the settings of the GMAP. So we go back here, we roll on down, center onto the argument, and look at that, it's already the argument selected is the content node ID. So I'm going to go apply, all right, and then I'm going to save. Now note that I didn't create a, um, a, create a, create a view, um, like a, a block or a page, and, and that's fine because I don't really have to. So, um, so what I am going to use though, um, what I am going to use is this little snippet that you can get on the documentation page if you haven't gone over to a website go check it out um, anyway so so let's a little let's uh, copy this snippet and we're gonna go roll down to somewhere that I want to paste it in my template and I'm gonna just paste it there it has the macro and everything that's fine and get rid of the macro that's all right so basically this little snippet is asking me a couple of things what is the machine name of the view what which, which way do we want to display it and this little optional my my argus is something that the arguments are going to be in there so we have this print embed view and it has the view name the display type and my arguments so the display type is default default it could be block it could be page you know depending on on what you select but let's get the machine name so it's property map just copy that, throw that in there, hit save, um, and so now I'm going to go back to my property page here and refresh. So now I have a Google Map in my template uh, um, centered on my location. So obviously that's you know maybe I would put the 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 um, scale up, but um, so maybe here we'll go back into this macro we'll go settings macro we'll scale it to 15 apply save
All right. So now it just dropped in, and now it has this this um this thing that takes the field by de or the title by default. I'm going to show you where to change that because we only have you know by default it has the content title, right? So I guess we could add and change this to location or uh, we'll just we'll just say um, filter by um, location location address the entire address. Yep, why not? apply and then we're going to save I don't know if this is going to work so it has that and see on Google Maps you can actually hide hide that that's coming from somewhere else so I'm sure we can fields location address hide map link hide coordinates uh, yeah, apply. And I'm going to save. Yeah, look, that doesn't look too bad. That link goes to there. You probably tick on tick the on look at the, you know. And there we go. Okay, so that's that's the map. Um and well, I guess now it's up to ourselves to, you know, put a wrapper class around it and stick it on there on the page but um, we, we'll do that a little bit later but that is how we embed our um, map in a few clicks with views and a little snippet um, from the site. Alright, see you soon.